One thing I've learned about Sensorina in the three years I've been using it is that when I don't use it regularly, I <coughs> cough up not a few more, a lot more goals. So today I'm gonna to go over sort of the top three benefits of using Sensorina in my opinion after all this time. And if we haven't met before, my name's Maria Mountain. I'm an exercise physiologist. I specialize in off ice training for hockey goalies, but I am also a recreational hockey goalie. So let's dive in. So the number one thing about Sensorina that I love is that it makes me a better goalie. When I let in goals in Sensorina, they are often the same stupid mistakes, silly mistakes I make on the ice that cause me goals against. So for example, I have a little trick of moving my glove <laughs> like down and then up and out of the way. I have some trouble with box control. So Sensorina, I can turn on box control. I'll show you an example and you'll see how it helps me. So in the first drill, I'm not gonna use box control and I'm gonna get scored on many times and I'm not trying to look bad. I actually do look that bad. <laughs> and then in the second one, I'm gonna turn on box control to help me fine tune my positioning because I didn't grow up as a goalie. So I don't sort of have that innate sense of where the net is behind me. I have trouble with that. And I'll so I'll turn on the box scroll and it makes all the difference in the world. And then I'm gonna do the drill again with it turned off and you'll see how it works. Another thing I've learned from using Sensorina is I've gotten way more patient. Um, you'll see, let me show you an example where we're using a live shooter and you'll see how when I'm just trying to follow them everywhere, I'm gonna cough up goals. They're gonna go against the grain on me, which happens again in the game. Sammy is always going against the grain on me. But when I just play with patience and get set and wait for the shot, you'll see that I have more success so I can practice that here and take it out on the ice. The second thing is they are always updating it. Like, have a look at what it looked like when I started three years ago and that blew my mind. But have a look at what it's like now. Let me show, take you on a tour. So you're gonna arrive and you're in front of actual Sense Arena. Have a look. And then you get to go into this amazing dressing room and you can pick what team you wanna be. I'm, I'm, I'm playing for the blue shirt. Sorry, Rangers fans, we're in trouble this season. I mean, if you've got me as your goalie, I don't mean with Shesterky, he's gonna be just fine. So in the first one, we had the droid shooters and things like that, and now we have real live shooters. And so you can really work on reading, reading the release off the stick, following the play, yeah, learning to play with patience, trust your edges. And the final thing is, in this virtual locker room, you're playing for a team, the competitions, you can actually play an NHL season as the season progresses. And if you make it far enough, you'll play for the Stanley Cup, which is amazing. I like it because nobody wants to be that amazing practice goalie or camp goalie who can do like all the drills well, but then when it comes to the decision-making and actually playing in game situations, it falls apart. So I love that you can practice the drills on what you need to work on and then take it into game action. You can even play against other goalies, other players places in the world virtually. Better tighten up my head strap for this one. Where, where are you? Okay, so three years on is a sensor, sorry, NHL Sensorina. Still worth it. Buckle up. So the mission today, should we choose to accept it, is to do a three-year follow-up on Sensorina uh, and see if it's still worth the money. And I would say, well, you know what, spoiler alert, the NHL has affiliated themselves with it, so <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes. Just look at the graphics. If you, Go back and look at the video I shot uh, way back here uh, to see what it was like when we first when I first started using it. Uh, you gotta look away right here because I'm gonna put in my special code. So it starts off and you're here, uh, you know, in front of the actual Sense Arena, get it? Uh, but it's a pretty cool place. Nice, be a nice place to come and hang out with your friends. And in VR, you can have friends even if you don't have real friends. Uh, so they're polishing up the Stanley Cup and then we're gonna get started. So the big difference is, look at this. We're in an NHL dressing room. I'm playing for the Rangers. Uh, they are always been my B team. The Leafs are my A team, but I just have to be Rangers right now. Uh, so like, look at this glove and blocker and like even look at the detail here, like where it's got sort of the, the, the 
the thread or the, the string, you know, wrapped through. It's just, it's unbelievably cool. And then there's competitions. So, uh, you know, every so often they'll run a competition. You can compete against other goalies all over the world uh, for prizes. And then you've got USA Hockey Development approved drills. So they've contributed to help make sure that this, and I said it right from the start, this isn't a video game. It's an actual training tool. It actually makes you a better goalie. And we'll get more into sort of the, the big three, but let's just get into it first. And so you can see some of the, some of the stuff that's going on. I'm going to just say, ready, set, go. Let's do some drills. We're going to warm up here. Um, and we're going to start just with the goalie cannon. So the goalie cannon is I can pick where I want this shot to come from. Let's, uh, let's go over here. I can have set my time limit, the shot locator, um, and then I can choose the shot speed. So let's go to seven and then we're going to go for it. I could use my own net, but I'm not right now. I want to just set it up. I also love attaching the controllers to my actual glove and blocker, but I'm in a little bit of a rush today. So Woo! Oh, that one went in. Son of a gun. Yeah, you tried it again, didn't you? Not this time, guy. So, this shows me all my stats. I got 12, say made 12 out of 13 saves. My save percentage is 92. My puck tracking is uh, terrible, 24%. <laughs> my reaction time, meh, angles, not so bad. So, so let's say, boy, I'm really mad that goal that went in. What, how, did that, how did that possibly go in? I can turn on this 3D replay and I can either see it from the shooter's perspective or I can see it from my perspective, so I, I'm here like, hey Maria, Dodo, <laughs> keep your blocker up. Um, so I can come in and see exactly what happened, where I was standing, even where I was looking. So let's rip through some of these, go to the next one. Boom, but even like looking at where that rebound goes, like that, that rebound isn't random, that's, whoa, that was a close one, it's, it's based on, not many going in that actual glove. It's based on where I'm holding my blocker, the angle of my blocker, where I'm holding my glove, the angle of my glove. So you see, if, it, if I have it in my cuff, it bounces off the cuff. If I put it up and out of harm's way, that's what I want to see. When you see my head move in the replay, my head's actually moving. Apparently, I don't know where my glove is. Let's see this crazy little. Oh, here's the goal. So yeah, way too low. My blocker's too low. You can see here the box control. So you see where my glove and where my blocker are or should be. And that's how much of the net I'm taking up. So if I had stepped out more like I did that earlier in the drill and had my glove and uh, blocker obviously in a better position, that would not have been a goal. So we can repeat that drill or we can go back and let's go to the next one because pretty much, uh, pretty much mastered it, <laughs> as you can see. So I like this one. Uh, I'm going to just change the time so that, but again, like shot frequency shoots random. Um, so I could have them shoot specifically to my catcher, or my blocker, um, record statistics. Yes. Complexity. Yeah. We're going to go, you can go either like from right to left or left to right or set it up random. So I'm setting it up random. So we got to get out here and see who's got the puck. <sighs> Scored. That was not a goal. There's no way. Oh, 
Oh, I was way out of position. So we're gonna do this drill, but I've turned on the box control. So now I can see in my vision how much of the net I'm taking up. I have trouble with my positioning. So this is really helpful to me to get that little guidance to help me learn. Obviously that's not there on the ice, but you can see the difference from last time. So I use this to help with my positioning. I don't get unlimited access to the ice. So this really helps me learn where to stand relative to the puck and how depth helps. And you can see the difference it makes. Okay, so we did one without the box. It was a bit of a disaster. So now we're gonna, and we did one with the box. It was way better. Now we're gonna go back without the box again. And you can see, like, the puck is in your glove. And so sometimes with these, I want to practice, like, if I want to practice getting, finding the puck and getting to it, I'll come to the post and then come off and I have to find the puck a little bit quicker. Come to my post, have to come back, find the puck a little bit quicker. Okay, let's take it up a notch, as they say. So this is live shooters, and these guys crush me. Uh, every time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, and I can have age group. Is there 12 year olds? No. I can have screening or no screen. Let's just go no screen to give you a sense of it. But so there's going to be a live shooter coming off the wall, zipping the puck past me every time. Got one. I, I do say that on the ice every time I make a save. Got one. <laughs> Oh, thought I had it. Oh. Right off the bucket. Thanks, kid. Oh, man. Okay, let's do that one again. So I'd have to practice a bit of patience too, because I tend to just want to move, right? And that's how he gets me. I move out of the way. So, oh, that was a nice one. Yeah, just be patient. Hold your feet. These are the same mistakes I make on the ice that cause goals against. So in addition to doing these drills, we can work on foundations, we can work on training plans. So there's different coaches, like here, Joey Decord has one, um, reads and tracking, shot prediction, Katie Burt has some, Bill Ranford, Brian Decord, Stathos, Eli Wilson, um, this guy named Dominic Hasek, whoever that is, um, this is sort of a conditioning one and it, it's a little bit janky. The one that I put in, it's from about three years ago. It's a little janky because, um, just, it was hard to get the work to rest intervals exactly the way we want it. Um, diagnostic, I, I usually start with this every month, go through a diagnostic and then I can go through kind of their recommended drills, arenas. So I can do, uh, I can play in Lake Tahoe, boom. So like, and there'll be an eagle that flies by <laughs> and there's the lake. So it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and there's the lake. Now, some of you will be wondering the controllers, you know, that, that doesn't seem very precise. And how do you work on your glove position, your blocker position. And it, it is precise to some extent. Like, it, and you saw, well, I'll show you some of the replays. It's like if it kind of hits my, the cuff of my glove, which is one of my favorite tricks, it, it drops at my feet. It doesn't just magically pop into the pocket. So you can have a glove uh, puck bounce off your glove and go into your own net. Like 
like sometimes actually happens to some of us in a game. <laughs> um, but you have the, you can also attach the controllers to your glove and your blocker. I didn't today because actually shooting this video has been a bit of a fiasco and I want to get it done and I didn't have time to attach them, but they would just like attach, you know, in like that, like it would slide in there. Um, and then when you have those attached, you can actually use your real stick. And so you calibrate where your stick is. So the length of your paddle. So it is exactly the length of your stick. And then it's cool because you can make a save, toss it in the air, bat the puck away. It's just amazing what they've done. So is it worth it? I've told you how awesome it is. Is it worth it? Uh, absolutely it's worth it because it's like anything. They need to gain some momentum and now they've gained some momentum. The NHL is involved uh, as a sponsor, I guess. They're, they have naming rights on it. So it's NHL Sense Arena now and the price seems to have come down. Subscription. So when you buy an entire year subscription, I think it's something like $42 a month. I'm kind of bad at math, but I know that that includes four users. So, um, you know, if you've got a household full of hockey players and they actually have sense arena for shooters and skaters as well. So if you've got a goalie and a shooter, you know, you can use that same license. You don't each have to get one. If you use the code GTP 50, you'll save $50 um, off your annual subscription. And then that also helps out because it gets me a commission, but I don't ever see that. I just have Sense Arena send it directly to my friend, Justin Goldman, to help fund the great work he does through the Goalie Guild. Uh, Lift the Mask is one of those initiatives, which is a mental health initiative for hockey goalies. So you're helping out other goalies as you're helping out yourself. So if you want to learn more, see exactly how it works, head over to sensearena.com. I think you can also find it in the meta whatever <laughs> store if you've already got uh, an, a quest or something like that. Um, so I don't really know how it all works, but that's... I think that's the case. Bottom line, if you're like me and you don't have access to ice whenever you want it, but you do actually want to get better from week to week and stop more pucks, when you use this consistently, you stop more pucks. I promise. It's not a game. It's not a video game. It actually challenges you. You can see what you're doing wrong and you can see how to improve it and then track your progress along the way. So uh, still a huge fan, Sensorina gang. You are doing something right. If you want to see my last two reviews on Sensorina, uh, you can check here and otherwise I'll catch you on the flip side. I love you guys. See you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Ooh, chin sauce.